Woohoo! There we go! Check this out, guys! Right inside the vault, and there, we're in the hacking terminal room. We got a pressurized lock here so we can keep all of the air secure in case there's a breach. Pressurize, and there we go! Doors open! Aw, oh, dude, check it out! Oh, that is this massive. vault is huge, guys! This is way bigger! What's going on guys, it's Papa Jake here from Team Bivney and we are back with a brand new video and today guys we have a very special video, a video you guys have been asking for for a while now and you can probably tell what it is just based on my arm, check it out guys, got the pit boy on hand because we're doing a follow for video, we're doing a follow for box for guys, now we did one of these back in the summer but we decided let's do follow for Part two. We've got a massive box for it already from our back cave that we're gonna add on to. And today, guys, we're gonna be making a Fallout 4 vault and having an epic Fallout themed box for it. And guys, like we said before, this is actually our last week in this house. You can probably tell it's around all the, gone. Like, everything's there's gone. nothing here. They're, they used to have cool fun stuff here because we move in. So this is our last week here. So we gotta make this week absolutely fire. So we started off with the Batman box for it, and now we're going into the Fallout 4 box for it. We're definitely gonna be doing a house tour once we move into the the new house but until then we're making the most out of what we have and we're going bigger every single episode this week we started off with batman now we're doing fallout and if you guys want us to go even bigger in the next episode and do a brand new billionaires box for it, then smack that like button down below guys let's go for 50 000 likes on this video and we'll do an epic billionaires box for it. but guys i also want to remind you it's christmas and papa jake loves to give back to you guys which is why i'm doing papa jake's epic christmas giveaway we're giving a bunch of stuff to you guys like xboxes i phones all that fun stuff and all you guys have to do to enter is to smack the like button down below hit the subscribe button and most importantly hit that little bell button it's right it's right down there become part of the notification squad join us on this epic journey and you guys are entered in to win an awesome christmas present as of right now we have an idea as to what we're giving away we're picking winners but we don't exactly know like how many xboxes to buy how many ps4s to buy so let us know in the comments down below so when we pick the winners we have enough to give away to everyone but all right guys so to start off as you can see if you watched our last video which you definitely need to the Batman box for it. We built this crazy back cave over here, which extends all the way out to the door and comes along there into an extra room behind. Now for the Fallout 4 box fort, we're gonna extend it all into here. We're gonna bring the box fort out into here and we're gonna have multiple parts in our Fallout vault. Because guys, in a Fallout 4 vault, we need like a med bay, we need an armory, we need a place to sleep. We also, of course, need our epic Fallout 4 vault door, which I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what it is yet, but let me tell you, this vault door is going to be one of the craziest things we've ever built, and it may or may not be using this treadmill here. I think we need to clear some space and start building our Fallout vault, because we got to get inside and lock that door, because it's the wasteland out here, and it's scary. There are rad roaches. I don't like the sound of rad roaches, Jake. Logan, those are like the least scary things in Fallout 4. Regardless, let's start working on the vault door, guys, and then we'll start working on the rest of the base and show off some of our cool Fallout 4 gear. This is what we have so far for the box for it. We've got this room here, which is a kind of sitting room. Over here, we've got two different layers of security doors, which is actually really important when we're doing a Fallout 4 vault because we need security. So you go through the first layer here, into the second layer. We definitely need to light it. Those have all not been lit yet, so we have to work on that. But I think to start, we're gonna start working on the vault door, and then we'll come in here and start expanding out into the next room. We also have a little bit of space in here that we could expand into, so I'll have to ask Logan what he thinks about that. Check it out. So we went ahead and we kind of remodified the back cave a little bit, and we put in the treadmill here, which is gonna be the entrance to the vault. The way we're gonna use this is that we're gonna have like the vault staging area here. We have to go on the console and activate the vault door. Once the vault door opens at the front you can then enter onto the treadmill you'll slowly be brought into the vault and then you can go through the secondary security door inside and only then can you access the vault it's very secure so now all we have to do is start remodifying this with cardboard so that we can get it all around and then start decking out the security door here so we can actually access it with the computer and control panel <laughs> Alright guys, check this out. Just finished the vault door. This thing is looking sweet. It's one of our classic vault doors. Got, you know, the lock here and everything like that. But of course you can't hack into this because it all uses inside mechanisms. But if you open up the vault door here, just like this, 
you can enter into the vault now over here we haven't done the lighting yet so you can't really see it too well but that's basically where we're gonna have the mechanism that actually brings you into the vault you'll go on a conveyor belt that will slowly bring you inside and the only way to activate that is from the inside so we still have to light that I still have to work on the control panel but we're making progress here so I think we're gonna start working on the inside and then we also have to go ahead and extend all the way out here as you guys can see we started it here we got to cut a hole here and extend all the way out here into this room so there's still a lot to do there's still a lot of building to get done but we're having a bunch of fun and you guys know me Fallout 4 is one of my favorite games of all time so this is gonna be sweet so while Jake's working on the security room I'm gonna be working on our living quarters and we're gonna use this elevated space as a sleeping pod for Jake and I'm gonna make my bedroom down here so while Logan's working out there I'm now in the vault door room which is basically where you can activate the vault door to let people in as you guys can see we've got this space here this is where you'll actually come in once the vault door is activated now here I've got to use all this cool stuff to make a control panel so I can activate the vault door we've got our keypad here for the terminal we've got a couple other electronic devices and then once you get in here you can then enter into the main room which is inside so let's start building <laughs> Alright guys, check it out, the terminal is ready. As you guys can see, we've got all of our wires, everything hooked up here. So basically now we use the hacking terminal, which will allow us to access the vault door. So for example, if we're on here, you would type in your commands. There we go. And then access the vault door with this. I'm gonna turn on the vault and allow the vault door to open and then go around to the front so you guys can see exactly what it looks like once I open the door and we come inside the vault. Here we go, opening vault. There we go. Let's check this out. Can you hear the siren going on? Oh, here we go. And there we go, guys. The vault door opens. Check this out. Now it's time to go inside. You get inside and you have the vault door activated. All the security measures are on. The terminal is activated, which means the conveyor belt's on. So we just pop on this and go inside the vault. Woohoo! There we go. Check this out, guys. Right inside the vault. And there, we're in the hacking terminal room. Got the hacking terminal here on. I'm going to go ahead and lock the vault door now. And there we go. Vault door is locked. And now we can go ahead and enter into the primary vault. I still haven't put the pressure lock on this. I'm gonna pressurize this door, but once we have that on, the door would open, and then we enter in to the main vault room. How sweet is that? So now that we know that the vault door works and the system to get in here is working, I'm gonna start working on the med bay, but I wanna go check out what Logan's been up to. Let's see what's going on in the next compartment here. As you guys can see, in every Fallout 4 vault, we have our doors. You know, we can shut them, pressure lock them, which is very important when you have a Fallout shell. But let's jump inside and see what Logan's doing. All right, let's check it out. Logan, what have you been up to? Yo, dude, this place looks sweet. Check it out, man. I've been working Yo. on this thing for like hours. Is this our secondary living slash sleeping quarters? This is the living oh, slash. Dude, this is huge. So we got all this space. We got one light there. I'm going to install another light over there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Not done over there, but Jake, check this out. This oh, is your no sleeping way. pod up there. Story. Dude, this is sweet. Guys, I didn't even think this was gonna be a two-story box fort fallout shelter, but already, yo, there's actually tons of room in here, man. All right, so we definitely need to still light this and bring in a bunch of our gear, but I'm gonna get working on the med bay. Logan's gonna finish up in here, and then this vault is almost done. Wait, Jake, before you go, check out this awesome metal duct tape. This stuff is gonna be awesome for decking out our fallout shelter. Dude, it's like reinforced steel. I love that, man. All right, guys, well, while Logan's working on that, let's come in here and start working on the med bay. Check this out, we're inside the med bay now, and I have everything set up as you guys can see this is a separate from the vault but you enter here through this door and then you can come up here and sit down if you need to be medically examined or anything like that and of course in here we have all of our vault survival gear we've got some extra food rations in here we also have some extra water rations which actually come in bags which is pretty cool it's like water in a bag and then we got some band-aids some sterilizing cloth all of which is really important with vault life because you know when you're in here you're safe from outside but there's still radiation there's still things that could go wrong in a vault so having this place is important especially if you go out on a mission i think we might need you because we didn't bring a lot of food in here and if we're doing a 24-hour challenge we're gonna need to go out in the wasteland and scavenge for some food so we just got finished up building the fallout 4 box fort but before we do a tour of the whole vault itself we gotta get logan inside here so i've got my pit boy here we're gonna go ahead and access the vault door and open it up for logan we have a super secure encrypted vault door so that no one can get in without access here we go vault door open Oh, oh yeah, what's up, dude? 
Welcome to the vault. That is awesome. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, check out your pit boy. I know, man. Oh, we got some sweet pit boys going on here. All right, I'm going to relock the vault door. Make sure that this is all locked up on us. Give me a second here. There we go. Access granted. We're good to go. All right, well, let's jump in the vault and show you guys what it looks like. And you come on inside. We got our common area here. You know, we got a clock on the wall. Nice fallout style clock there, looking great. Over here, if you come around this corner, we have our armory. This is where we're keeping all of our gear in case we go out into the wasteland, which I will be doing later because I think I need to scavenge for some food. Well, of course, we've got our masks here, some ammo, a couple weapons. We're a little bit low on supplies, but that's okay. We can definitely scavenge for some more. Over here is the med bay. We've got a bunch of really awesome gear. We've got some medical supplies here in case we go out. And we've got a few extra rations of water which are very important when you're living the vault life. All right, let's go into living quarters. We got a pressurized lock here so we can keep all of the air secure in case there's a breach. Pressurize, and there we go. The door's open. Let's head inside. Aw, oh, dude, check it Whoa, out. That is This massive. vault is huge, guys. This is way bigger. I was going to try to double our Fallout 4 vault from last episode. I think we tripled it. What? It's awesome seeing this thing with lights, man. It is so big. We have a second story, of course. You can come up here with the nice vaulted ceilings. And up here, we've got a sleeping quarters. So it's a little bit of a sleeping pod. You can come up in here, you know, turn on some tunes on your Pip-Boy. Oh uh, yeah, and then just chill out, relax, and enjoy the Fallout 4 vault life. So yes, yeah, this place is sweet, and of course the vault ceilings add to it, and there's just so much room in here, which is awesome. Jake! Jake, there's a rad roach! Oh, oh, watch oh, out, watch oh, out, watch oh, out! Oh, I'll get the gun, hold on! Stay back! But Jake, don't shoot me! Jake, get it! Stop it! Oh, got it! Whew, that was close. Oh, Jake, there's another one right there! Hold on, I got it! Hold on, hold on! Stop that rad roach infestation. As safe as vaults are, guys, those rad roaches find a way to get in here. I think probably our best bet now is if we're gonna be surviving in here for the night, we need to get food, which means I have to go out into the wasteland. Logan, if you can stay back here and keep the vault secure, I'll grab what supplies I have and go out and see if I can't find some. All right, I'm gonna gear up with what I have in the armory, open the vault door and head out. I'll take one of the weapons and leave the rest for you in case you need it. There's gonna be mutants out there, other raiders. Luckily, if I can find some raiders though, I might be able to loot them for food. I'll leave a little bit of ammo. I know we don't have a lot left. Custom gas mask for the mission. Come across some raiders. Rather than scared of me. All right, open the vault. I'm heading out. Opening the vault. All right. See you on the other side. in this woods. Logan, I'm coming through on the pit boy. I just ran into a bandit. Couldn't get up to him to loot. I'm gonna check down here, see if I can't find anything else. Maybe some supplies. Rods are off the charts here. Doesn't look like I'm getting past this. <sighs> Looks like another wastelander. This ain't no mutant. I'll take this. A little stash on you. Hello, Megan. I was able to find some food. I'm coming back to the vault. Get the door ready. There's a lot of bad guys out here. Let's make it quick. All right, I'm opening up the vault right now. All right, Jake, the vault door should be opening right now. All right, Jake, come in. Come in, grab my gear. 
We do not want to be out there today. It is freezing cold. Did you get anything? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of food. Those raiders almost got me though. Whew. That was something else. <sighs> How was that, man? Grab some food. Met a couple new friends, but other than that, it's another day in the wasteland. Let's grab our gear. Uh, see what we got for dinner. All right, let's see what we got off this guy. Grab an extra pistol as well as some food rations, it seemed like. Chili with beans. All right, let's make some dinner. Get some food into us. Sells an MRE here, it looks like. You don't know what one of these things is? They are food rations that can survive 50, 100 years, doesn't really matter. But the cool thing about it is you actually don't need a heater. We're surviving in a wasteland vault. We don't have a heater, so we use one of these things. It's got everything you need in it to eat. We're a little bit low on supplies. We'll definitely have to do some more wasteland runs to get more, but for now, it's dinner. Chili with beans and crackers. Ooh, Logan. What? You guys sell some lemon poppy pound cake. Oh, I love it. All right, I so say we start cooking this thing up and get some food into us. I mean, it does look a little stale. That's what you gotta do when you live in the wasteland. Right. It's so dry, but so good. <laughs> that is definitely dry. <laughs> it's literally like cardboard. So let's put some jam on it. Oh, look at that, guys. Got ourselves some Fallout Wasteland crackers. While Jake's preparing the rest of the food, I'm gonna get our beds ready, because we gotta hit the hay soon. It's been a very long day. Put Jake's mattress up here because I think he wants the sleeping pod. And I'm just gonna sleep right there. So it looks like we're all ready for bed. Alright, guys, we just finished baking our meal, so we're gonna open it up here. We've got ourselves chili with beans, which is pretty good. Look at that, guys. Some wasteland beans with a little bit of the chili sauce. And uh, I think there's some meat in here too, which is kind of weird considering this thing can last 100 years, but hey, it's food. Not bad at all. You wanna try some? Sure. Not bad, right? It's actually really good. It is. All right, guys. Well, we're going to finish up our dinner. And then once dinner's done, honestly, I think it's going to be bedtime. We had a massive day today building this box fort, as well as, of course, going out in the wasteland. Had a lot of issues out there, but we got our food. We got ourselves set up. I think it's time we hit the hay after this. I'm going to go into my sleeping chamber up here. Logan's going to be chilling down here. And, uh, let's play a little bit of nice soothing tunes for nighttime on a pit boy. Perfect. All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's definitely not a billionaire's box for it, but it'll do surviving in the wasteland. Night, buddy. Peace out. Night, buddy. Jake? Jake? Jake, wake up! What's going on? Someone's trying to get in the vault. Let's go, let's go. To the terminal, quickly, quickly. Here, wait. Grab this. Where's my ammo belt? Grab my ammo belt. I gotta get to the terminal. Jake, there's no time. Here. Grabbing a backup weapon. Oh, this will work. All right, let's see what's going on here. Looks like we have most of our systems online, but whoever's out there is trying to lock me out of the vault. They're trying to open it manually from the outside. Can you lock them out? I'm trying. Security breach? What? Opening. The vault's opening. All right, get back into the sleeping quarters. We can put up a fight there. All right, watch the door. The second that door opens, we fire. All right? All right. There he is! Let's keep firing! Got him. I'll have to check and make sure he doesn't have any rads. I didn't look like a mutant, though. Whew. But this pretty much wraps up our Fallout 4 box for We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys liked this part two of it. If you guys think we should do more of the Fallout box Fort life, then smack that like button down below. And also, like I said, guys, at the start of the video, do not forget, if you want to enter into the giveaway, smack that subscribe button. But most importantly, a lot of you guys forget about it. Hit that bell button. It's right beside the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Turn on notifications. And then you're good to go. You're entered into our Christmas giveaway. And you never miss another one of Papa Jake's awesome videos. But thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see all of you guys next time for another awesome video.